Hey guys, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. When we last left off, we were exploring the uh, purple area. Yes, Galcia, whatever they call this, this, this ice temple, essentially. Anyway, let's continue, shall we? I do like the sound the ice makes on uh, on our boots there. Right. Oh. Ah. Looks like we've uh, we've got a boss. Okay, didn't expect to get to the uh, final boss quite uh, quite so quickly. No matter. Looks like a rather big boy. Sure, we can handle him. Okay, let's go for. Let's use some items before we do anything. Let's get everybody... Uh, I suppose we can use some Delta Shield. Don't know if we need to use Delta Shield. Um, Griff of Might on Enrique. And Justice Shield as well, I suppose. May righteousness be our shield. Just get ourselves protected. See how this goes. Always want to make sure that we have lots of armor and protection. Okay, don't remember this guy at all. But 25% buff on everybody? Yes, please. Well, that's a start. Now, what is this bullshit? It looks pretty intense. Ooh. Ah, dude. Okay. I'm guessing that will probably hurt quite a bit. If we let it. Right, let's go for some Pirate's Wrath on his ass. Let's continue using... You know what? Let's just use Glyph of Might. Um, I suppose we'll use a Glyph of Speed as well, just because. Standard attack. Go for it. Let's see what happens. See how much damage we do. Oh, okay. Okay, potentially not quite as tough as I thought he was going to be. But that's fine. Might use a Glyph of Might on Fina as well, just because it does give her that plus 25% uh, damage resist. Which certainly is better than nothing. Standard attack doesn't seem to hurt us too much. Big, strange, flying purple egg. Uh, let's go for Glyph of... M Actually... What can you do? Let's go for... Uh, is it worth it? Was it worth saving for now? I think it's worth saving for now. So... Yeah, let's just do a standard attack, I suppose. Everybody do another round of standard attacks. Now you... Give everybody regen. Sure. And just a shield. Yeah, that seems like a somewhat worthy use of our turn, I suppose. A little bit of regen for everybody. That'll work nicely. May righteousness be our shield. Shield of justice. Not sure how worthwhile Delta Shield's gonna be. Certainly hasn't used any well I don't think that was magic. Critical hit. Oh, 1,000 damage for a critical hit. Not bad. Let's crack this giant egg. Death laser. Oh, right. Death laser that apparently doesn't, doesn't really do much at all. Okay. Uh, standard attack. Standard attack. You. You know what? Give yourself a glyph of might. 
And I guess give yourself some justice shield and carry on. Next turn we should be able to give him another round of um Vase. Yeah, I should finish him off with that. Yeah, pirates right. Okay, this guy wasn't really much to write home about, was he? Probably don't even need to use any other moves, to be honest. Wow, like, absolutely destroyed this guy. Now this... Yeah, I don't know if this is a physical attack or if it's magic. It doesn't sound like magic. So that actually attacks in a line, I see. Still, certainly not much for us. Let's use some Pirate's Wrath. That should be him finished. Um, just in case... Oh, no, he's definitely finished now. There's no way he's going to survive this. Yeah, he's toast. Good night. Although he does like his uh, counter-attacks and lasers and things. Kind of a cool boss. A bit weak, though. Some kind of biomechanical monster. Like the Gigas. Yeah, that was disappointing. But I guess a win is a win. Okay, 3,000 XP. Eh, not bad. 6,000, 6,500 gold. Well, that's not bad. A couple of levels, which is always nice to see. Crystalline box. Never going to use that. Right, I suppose what we should probably do is heal up. Might as well just use magic. Entire party. There we go. Cool. Now, let's get out of here. Now, I believe... Oh, hello. Looks like we've got some more riffraff to deal with. That's fine. Uh, shouldn't take too long to kill these guys. Those sloth things are pretty tough, though. And stinking fucking black breath. I don't know what that's about. I can't imagine these guys really brush their teeth very often. Oh, Quake. That's the big boy. Yeah, that actually hurt more than I would have liked to, to be honest. But that's fine. Yeah, those guys aren't even really worth the experience, to be honest. What a shame. Okay. Right, well can't go that way. I suppose the only way is up. Or is it? Aha. Right, so this is the last chest we can get now. There is actually one other chest here. But we can't get it yet. We have to come back later. As well as the moonfish as well. Hey, moonberry. Can we use the moonberry? I wonder... We can. Enrique summons one enemy to the Colosseum to be judged for its crimes. The judgment. Nice. And that's it. I guess we don't need any moonberries anymore. Interesting. All right. Well, might as well have a little check down here, see if there's anything. Yeah, lots of moonberries in the game. Quite easy to max that out, actually. Eh, there's nothing down there, is there? There's nothing. So let's keep on digging. More of that fog. It's so difficult to see. Someone's there. What? What? How? Oh. I don't believe it. <laughs> He's just got some, like, fish in his claws. Who's there? Drachma? 
Captain! Wait a minute, I'm the captain. What are you kids doing here? It really is you. I never thought I'd see you again. Yeah, well, yeah. It's been a while, Captain. <laughs> I had a feeling you survived the attack. Oh, and you were just keeping that to yourself, were you, Vase? But, Captain, what are you doing at the bottom of Glacier? Hmm. Hmm. It is. What's Rack Racknam doing here? Hmm. Follow me. Well, this is ominous. Is is he dead? No, he's still alive. But he was badly wounded by uh, Ramrez's ships. It is a fatal wound. Racknam is dying. Ooh. When Rackman fled from Ram Rimmins, I got pulled along. If I wasn't attached to him, the little Jack would have been destroyed. Ah, so the little Jack survived as well. This is his home. Captain, you meant to tell me that you've been alone here with Rackman the whole time? Aye. That? Hey, look at that light. What? Is that the moon crystal? It must be, which would mean that this arc while, right now, is the purple gagas. <gasps> Can't believe that Racknam is the purple gagas. The name of the purple gigas is Pleroth. Pleragoth? Logo. According to the legends, the citizens of the purple civilization implanted the purple crystal into a living creature. Oh, okay. So he's not a biomechanical machine thing. He actually is a arc whale. Then that means that Ragnam was once a normal arc whale. Yes. I think after Ragnam had been transformed into the purple gigas. His master perished, and he has been wandering the skies ever since. So this poor Ark Whale was also a victim of the war. But Captain, why did you stay here all that time? If the little Jack is here with you, why don't you leave? I've spent my life searching for Rackman to avenge my crew and my son. I wasted all of those years. Ragnam saved me from Ram... Oh, Ramrez. I just thought that I could watch over him in his last moments. It's the least I could do. Oof. <laughs> this is pretty heavy, actually. Dude. Dude. Why is he making that noise? I'm not sure. What's wrong? I'm here for you. This isn't good. Look at his eye. Oof. Rachnam. I see. It's time for you to go. Time for you to join your friends. Goodbye. Is he like the last Ark Whale or something? Oh no. Look, the crystal. Oof. Just like that, huh? I'm sorry, Captain. 
You received the purple moon crystal. Well, that was easy. Time to let go, matey. Captain, are you really going to leave us? Hmm. Chasing Rachna Rachnam was my reason for living. And now, I've got to start over. When you're as old as me, it's not easy to change your ways. I'm... I'm sorry, but I can't go with you. Faze, are you sure we would... We should let him go? Uh. Ooh. I'm not a hundred percent sure what we should say here. Um. Hmm. I think we should just let him go. We can't just, you know, stop him, can we? Hey, there we go. Uh huh. Yeah, we should just let him go. I can't imagine what he's going through right now. Captain, we finally met up again, but I guess this is goodbye. Boy, huh. you've become quite a sailor. I'm proud of you. <laughs> it's a little strange to hear compliments coming from you. Yeah, Captain. Before you go, there's something I wanted to tell you. You said that you and Ragnam were both alone, but you're not alone, Captain. We've been with you the whole time. What? No matter how far apart we become, we'll still be sailing in the same sky. The same sky, the same clouds, the same wind. We'll always be together in one way or another. We'll never forget you. <laughs> Drakman gives those shits. It's like, ugh. Captain, take care of yourself. I wish you all the luck in the world. Captain, you better visit us on Crescent Isle. Me? <laughs> what does that? Bar. <laughs> He's sounding like a zombie. Maybe I will someday. Farewell. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we might see him again later. <clears throat> right. So that's that. Now, I suppose the best thing that we can do is probably go back to Crescent Isle. Crescent Isle. There we go. Now, I don't think we can just cut through there. I don't think we can. Let's find out, shall we? I mean, as soon as... We, no, we can't. We've got Dark Rift there. Ooh. Bloody Dark Rift bastard stuff. Alright, we'll have to go the long way. Alright, we have to turn. Go north. Actually, is it north we want to go? Yeah, pretty much north. And cross the map again. Okay, fine. But hopefully, now, we can go back. And then when we get back to Crescent Island, we should, uh, I guess just fight. Yeah, we should be able to get our ship upgraded, and then the rest of the game's map should open right up for us, which would be pretty, pretty cool, because then we can go around and explore, and we should basically be able to fill in all the gaps, more or less. There are some caveats to that, of course, but hopefully... That is the final barrier of the game. Torn down. 
and we can get all of the uh, hidden bosses, of which there aren't that many left, to be honest. That was fun. You always think everything is fun, Ica. What's fun about wanton slaughter and death? You know, apart from everything. Uh, right, this is quite the trick, isn't it? That's fine. We have the power of fast forward, so it shouldn't take us too long to get back. Ooh, we've got... Oh. You know what? Let's just go for a round of standard attacks. See if we can... Oh, nice. See if we can kill the rest of these... Oh, nice. Really? Okay. We didn't even need to save our spirit bar. Sweet. Just literally murdered all of them in one shot. Well, although... Although... It wasn't really worth it, was it? <laughs> Barely uh, got anything from that. Still only got 13 spirit, even though our spirit bar keeps going up. I suppose cut this fury, that guy. Kill the rest. Yeah, 18,000 damage. It's kind of insane. Right, okay. Number of the beast in gold. That makes me happy. Okay, nearly there. Halfway. Well, this is why we're borderline over-leveled, I think. And this doesn't obviously uh, account for all of the grinding and leveling that I've done off-camera as well. Of which, um, there has been a lot, to be honest. Been tons and tons of it. Uh, we don't want to... I don't think we can fight that. Okay. Oh god, it's so nice to have these upgrades where we can just like pretty much go wherever we want. And my guys, it's going to be so much better with the final upgrade. It's going to be amazing. And there is a discovery flying around there. Have we got... yeah, we have got that one. We've got most of the discoveries. There's just a couple that we haven't got. I will get a list of them for the next video and then we can start working through them well, sadly I don't have a huge amount of time to do uh, many videos because we've got an ale festival to go to tomorrow uh, which won't mean anything by the time I've up uploaded this video but hey alright whoa that was Worth a good bit of gold. How much gold do we actually have now? It's got to be, you know, a fair bit. Okay. Not quite as high as I was hoping. 444,000. I mean, that's, you know, still a lot. But, could be more. I think to get one of the, uh... One of the ranks for Vase. I think you need to get a million gold. It's something like that. And you can obviously see collecting a million gold in this game. Well, that's kind of insane. Do we actually have any moonfish? Kind of curious if we've got any moonfish. Because if we have... It might be worth going and handing those off. Uh... Items. We have moonfish. I can't remember. There is a moonfish we can get back there, but we need to get our ship upgraded first. Uh, we actually do. We got two moonfish. Oh. Um. We've actually gone past Crescent Isle as well. Okay, right, well, let's dock back at Crescent Isle. Overshot that by quite some margin, actually. Ah, look at it now. It looks really cool. Ba bam bam they're back, and the hole seems to be in one piece. Of course it's in one piece. A little ice isn't going to hurt it one bit. 
Captain Vase, about that book from Yafatoma. I built an engine for you using the plans in that book. But now, uh, oh, until now, you haven't been able to fly above or below the clouds because the pressure differences were too hard on your engine. But now that's not a problem. You'll be able to fly over mountains and beneath large islands. You'll be flying uh, all over the damn place. Really? That's great. When can you install it? I'll install it tomorrow morning at the crack of dawn. With the new engine, we'll be able to travel to more places than ever before. Yeah, you can, well, that's it then. You can literally go everywhere now. All right, everyone, to the meeting room. Let's decide where to go next. Okay, cool. Right, well, let's drop a hard save, shall we? Ah, uh, where's the oldest save? Wow. <laughs> That's from, like, six hours of gameplay ago. Right. Actually, closer to eight hours of gameplay ago. Nice. Well, where was the meeting room? Ah, hey, dude. You hired me to do a job. I'm doing the job. I'm not obliged to talk to you when I'm off your ship. Yeah. True. That guy's kind of a dick, really. Oh, hello. Welcome, Captain. Buy yourself ship equipment. Let's have a little gander, shall we? Ah, right. Yeah, we've already got all this stuff. Oh, Arc Whale Torpedo, though. Nope, we've already got it. Yeah, chandelier. I don't really think we need a chandelier. Apply oil to the engine part. Stabilizes output. Doubling rate of spirit restoration. Okay, that's kind of cool. Slows the rate. Uh huh. Complete kit, shredder bomb. We don't need like shredder bombs and stuff. They're kind of pointless, really. Gossip. Oh, I'm such an airhead. I gave uh, Brabham the wrong part earlier. I hope he realizes before it's too late. I'm not used to running a shop, so I keep making all sorts of mistakes. Well, <laughs> I always make mistakes anyway, but not the shop kind. Oh, God, what kind of mistakes are we talking about here? But it's my goal to be able to do something without messing it up. That's what I'm here for. I'm bound to get something right. Yeah, I mean, law of, you know, averages, I guess. If you keep doing things, eventually you're going to do something right. Eventually. Uh, okay, so if we fall to our deaths later using the new engine, it's her fault. Nara, later on, Captain Clara found Gilda's ship. She was so happy. She started firing at his ship to get his attention. Gilda fired back. How romantic. Oh, totes. I really look up to Captain Clara. She's so passionate. That's what we like. We like passion. Do you think that there are any cute guys at the Great Silver Shrine? If there are, would you tell them about me? Uh, sure. Why not? But what's in it for me? Ah. Abraham, with that new engine built using the book on ship polarity, you can fly the Delphinus above and below the clouds. We can fly all over the damn place. I can't wait. Yeah. What can I? Uh, I... Oh, we can go in here. Ah, right. It's cannon boys. Look at this shrine. We're going to blow holes in the Valuan fleet and look good doing it. I can't wait to start firing on Valuan ships. Yeah, well... Oh, okay. Guess we'll just. Can we actually like talk to these guys, please? Hey, make sure you shine those cannons good. Those cannons are the heart and soul of the Delphinus. My cannons are always ready to go. Uh, you never know when you're going to have to blow something up. Yeah. If I lose a battle, it's not going to be because of a misfire. Yeah, I'd rather you didn't constantly take the cannons out and play with them. Like, we kind of need the ship ready. Uh, ready to go at a moment's notice. Anyway, we are out of time, guys. So, we are going to drop a save here. When we come back, I guess we're going to be going to the meeting room and have a little chin wag and see what we can't decide to do together. So, till then, guys. Thanks for watching.